Hello lovely friends, welcome and thank you for watching your general signs free monthly tarot reading with me, Lorian. It's December, the final month of 2015. Whether you have had a good or bad journey this year, we've all gone through things together. Um, I think there's been some common ground, some universal consciousness as well. Um, so whatever has been your path this year, I'm sure that we'll be entering 2016 with a little bit of anticipation as to what it's going to bring with us. And also a certain area of renewal. Maybe we want to know what kind of good things we're drawing in. Um, some of us may be glad to see the back of 2015. Some of us may be, you know, saying goodbye to 2015 with kind of a fond farewell. But I'm sure we'd like to know how we are tying up this year and what sort of energies we're dealing with in this final month. So hopefully it'll be on a high note for a lot of us. Um, if you'd like to get in touch with me for a private reading, all the details are below. I have a website and email address. If you'd like to donate or support me on Patreon, those, that information is also down below. And thank you very much for everybody who subscribed and liked and shared the videos. I really do appreciate that. Um, also, just a side note, the site... Um, is going to be having a little bit of a switch around. So if you can't find something, just let me know and I'll be more than happy to assist you. So without further ado, let's get on to the December readings. I'm really looking forward to finding out what's in store for all of you. Hello everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in to your Virgo reading for December 2015. Um, the deck that I'm going to be using this month is the Legends Tarot, which is all about the Arthurian legend and you know basically taking into account the Merlin and Camelot and all that sort of um, mystery amongst that. And that's by Anna Marie Ferguson. This deck is something that was recently gifted to me um, by a dear friend from America. It was her first ever tarot deck and she felt it was supposed to find a home with me. So Thank you very much, you know who you are. And also, um, we're just going to be having the Oracle card from the Archangel Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue, just to take a look and see what the general energies are for the whole month. I honestly cannot believe that we are in December, but let me have a look and see what's coming up for you guys. So I did meditate before the um, actual drawing of the cards, and it's kind of a mixed bag once again. I have had to delve into a little bit of the Arthurian legend just to re kind of um, reacquaint myself with these characters. Um, so we have the Knight of Spears as your first card for the week. And Spears in this deck, as I recall, is going to be Wands. So if we have the Knight of Wands and we have the Knight of Spears here, um, Bedivere, I think is how you say it. This is basically a very social card. Um, it is kind of the freedom of choosing your own path um, strategy as well. If it's not representing a path for you, I believe it could um, indicate an attractive young man or, you know, our older man who behaves a little bit young. This is an unpredictable card because it's got the energy of fire. And I believe this is also a sign of intelligence. So a lot of people think people who um, act immediately on impulse are not intelligent enough to control it. Sometimes they're intelligent to realise that acting on impulse is the best thing that they can probably do. And Virgo, you like to strategize. I think you like to... Um, be secure in whatever decision you make rather than just act on impulse and hope that's it. Um, I believe though that you may have to, just borrowing from the oracle card here, you may have to take back some of your power early on this month. Um, ambition seems to be coming through here for you as well. I also see that there could be an indication of travel here, like a movement throughout. So it's almost like you're trying to find your home. He looks like he's just leaving home and then just skipping forward a few cards. It looks like we end up um, back at this bed. Like, oh, it feels really good to kind of, you know, get to your own bed if you've been away a while. I get the sense that this could be a physical travelling um, and also spiritual travelling as well. 
There is good humour around this week. I also feel that there could be a few unconventional ideas happening around that week as well. So if you are thinking, hmm, in order to solve this problem, I may need to do something that I've not really done before and maybe you're not even comfortable doing it. So just kind of um, take solace in the fact that the cards say that's okay. That's absolutely fine. If you feel a little bit tentative in wanting to change things, that's okay. But realise that when action is needed, you may have to just really jump through there and claim your spot really and we have the six of shields which is known as the castle of maidens in um this deck and it's also the six of pentacles i feel this is again generosity very much like the traditional tarot giving back to others improvement in your circumstances also acts of charity um you are the card of service the most people that i know who give back to charity children caring nursing healing or remedies, um, holistic therapies, uh, anything to do with that. A lot of them are Virgos or have strong Virgo in their chart. And that's why I feel that this Six of Shields is very strong for you. This is um, improvement for you. This is sympathetic, supportive friends or having to be sympathetic and supportive with them. Um, because I think in December, we're going to the end of 2015, but you are also saying goodbye to something else. That's what I feel like is happening this month. Don't be scared. Saying goodbye doesn't necessarily have to be a very downtrodden, um, sad feeling. You don't have to say goodbye in that way. I just feel that the goodbye is necessary at this time. Um, I don't believe this is a goodbye through alternative measures, for instance natural measures, um, such as passing over or anything like that. I don't get the feeling that anybody of that sort, because this reading is more focused on your own decisions. The unconventional decision that you may make in the first week is to um, leave somebody, or stop a friendship, or kind of decide that this is no longer working for you whether it's a job whether it's a way of life whether it's a house a family gathering that you really don't want to go to um a reunion where you can go and you can say goodbye to a lot of people because you don't really want to see them again as as you know nasty as that could sound i think that sometimes you just know that the, the time of being involved with those people is over and I think there will be, for a few of you, a kind of last straw. Some of you may be wanting to search for another job. Some of you may be wanting to just get out of a relationship. Uh, do that, because I think you're going to have a lot of sympathy around you this time. And also there will be a lot of reward for the charity acts that you've done in the past. You've been there for other people, now you're going to be supported. And it's all about coming together as one to assist you through this. You are not on your own. As much as you may feel the impulse creates isolation um i just get the sense that you are not alone and the green of this lady and who's featured in the six of shields it's almost like she's welcoming somebody in um it's known as the castle of maidens so i feel that she's welcoming somebody and supporting somebody it could be that she's welcoming you in and supporting you um and saying it's okay you've made this decision that's absolutely fine we're supporting and we're going to be with you so it's something like you, your sense of self is restored. Now here we have the nine of shields in the third week, which is about Christmas time for those of you who celebrate it, um, and also Yule for pagans out there. We also have this kind of Ragnell feel. Now I'm not familiar with this one. I have to admit, I had to do a little bit of looking into it and still I'm not sure what the symbolism means in regards to that. If you do hear, by the way, any sounds like roadworks, it's my next door neighbour who has been consistently, you know, burying and drilling and everything this weekend, even though it's been gale force winds. But in Nine of Shields with Ragnell, I think this is going to be foresight. So in the first week, you kind of just went into it. You seem to have gone really purposeful through that. And I feel that now you are adhering to your values. You are assured by the people around you that you're making the right decision. You have 
acted on impulse, yes, but also I feel you've now been, um, what's the word? I can't remember the word, I do apologise. It's um, something like you've been justified, there you go, by doing the action because people agree with you. They say it's a good idea. So diplomacy and honour, fulfilling your obligations, could be if you decided to leave work and you've got another position, that you decide to um, fulfil, you know, that um, what's it, notice period. So if you say you've got three weeks notice, you will um, actually adhere to that. You also seem to be honouring a promise and having a sort of um, understanding here, most of all, with yourself and others. And I do feel it's a transformation. You're becoming your own self. Somebody in the background here seems to be a little bit disappointed. Um, hang on, let me just get into this. You may feel like you're disappointing somebody, or you may feel a need to return to somebody. I just get the sense that the for those men out there who are listening to this reading, I get the feeling that a lady may disappoint you, um, or you may be experiencing issues with a particular female who is going against you in this week. For those females out there, I believe that you may be disappointing a gentleman, and you may be wanting to or have the temptation to go and return to him. Um, the messages that I'm getting is do not return to that person. Do not in the slightest because you are in the point of transformation here. If you're disappointing a brother, if you're disappointing a family member, you will be able to bridge that gap. If you're disappointing a lover or leaving a lover, please don't feel the need to kind of go back and restore that because this is just a spiritual path that you're going through. Let it be what it is for now. Do not worry about you know, how things appear to this person. You are transforming from the mundane into something higher realm spiritual. So, honestly, the, the, the amount of reassurance that I'm getting is don't worry about somebody else's feelings. As much as selfish as that sounds, I think you can afford it. Because looking from outside in is a lot easier for me as a reader, but I just get the feeling that if you have been placing a lot of time and energy in somebody else through the entire year, you deserve at least a week or two to kind of be selfish and improve on yourself and to say, hang on, these are my boundaries, these are my deal breakers with job, people and relationships and just kind of push it down and say, no, I am not happy with this arrangement. Now, we come to the end of December and into 2016 with the Ace of Swords. Now, this is normally a strength from separation, a new beginning from separation and the action and the conquest and the strength and determination from here this is a driving force this is almost like freeing yourself from an oppressive situation and if you continue looking at these cards here around the holidays it can be quite intimidating or stressful um, but there are a lot of powerful emotions that are driving you on here I think you are ready to take up your sword of truth. I always see the sword suit as the truth suit, the intellectual suit, the being very honest and open suit. Um, if you think that you're wanting to take up your sword now because you've gone through this transformation in December, you've getting rid of the dead weights and you're transforming yourself against and out of anything you're unhappy with, while you have the strength of family and friends around you, Again, I'm drawn back to the take back your power. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings into your life. Do not feel in the slightest that you have to be nice to people just because that you don't want to hurt their feelings. If they are placing you in a feeling of or an emotion of, I'm not worthy, I just, oh, it's nice, I'll settle for it, or I don't want to rock the boat, or I'm going to tread on eggshells, I'm not going to get the support I need, but I'm still going to be with them. That's wrong. That, that... That seems to be kind of a, a stopping point here. Virgos, you are beautiful. I just have to say that because the soul that I get from here and the soul that I get from these cards and the readings and the guides coming through, they are so saying you are soulful, you are um, healing, there's a lot of greenery around you, this beautiful emerald green. Hold that in your heart chakra, hold that in your entire being, in your aura. Cleanse yourself from feeling the burden of other people and obliged 
to be with or to honour other people's promises that you didn't make in the first place. Don't feel like you're having to tie yourself to other things. And for some of you who have the um, kind of bolshy signs in the chart, and then you will probably find this a lot easier than the Virgos who have a lot of Virgo or a lot of mutable cardinal signs in the chart than fixed. I think fixed are quite, um, it's not going my way so I'm just going to bugger it. And You know, Scorpio for example, I know a lot of people who say, right, you've done me wrong and then they just disappear. You don't hear from them, you don't see them, you don't um, even get any recognition from them on social media anything there's nothing there um and that for some people can be quite shocking and that's why a lot of people say that scorpios are scary virgos you are kind of the opposite you're always willing to help somebody even if it goes even if you don't like them you're kind of wanting to still be there for them but i think at some point you do have the ability to go I've had enough of this crap and then you're just kind of gone. So this is a very strong reading for you as far as I can see for December. It's unfortunately not going to be easy and that's what a lot of people I think is, um, a lot of people kind of want that in easy end of the year. Sometimes easy isn't the best course of action for you, sometimes easy is just a cowardly way out, anything for a quiet life. I don't think that you should uh, resign yourself to that. But you need to be. Um, there. I can feel this emotion that they're giving, but it's very difficult to put it into words. Um, you've sailed a long journey to get here, and it's time to. If you're in your early 20s it's time to grow up that's what they just said if you're over I would say about 26 their indication is to say that you need to emerge now from oh I wish that they would be more clearer at this point in time but with the amount of stress and negative energy that's gone on in the last weekend um, I think that they're having a hard time but let me just have a look They just show me a meadow and they show me a beautiful feeling of going through the hard days and the hard nights and feeling emotional and having a cry and trying and stressing to get to the better side and to get the better job, to get the better emotional rapport with your family and friends, to leave the relationships and friendships and work situations that are no longer feasible for you, for your soul and your spirit recognize who is only a best friend recognize who is a supporter recognize where your relationships are going and where they need nurturing but most of all recognize where you need to nurture and heal yourself and that's the best possible advice i can give you and that they seem to be potting through for this month um i'm sorry that i've whittled on a little bit longer than normal but they just seem to be coming forth with a lot of advice and words and things because I think there's a lot going to happen for you Virgos out there. If you'd like a reading from myself, a personal reading, my website's now finished so if you want to have a look and book there I will be in touch with you as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to show your support by donating to me or on Patreon then the details to do that are down below and also um, I should be doing the 2016 video general readings soon but the option for 2016 personal readings are now or still available on the website whatever you do in december i hope you do it with care and thought and love for yourself and i'm really looking forward to seeing what 2016 appears to be bringing for you so love you all virgos you're absolutely gorgeous and i look forward to speaking to you soon